Okay, now that we've modeled all the parts, what we're going to do is modify the materials and the appearance. And if I go to my browser and right click on my wheel here um, and select properties, it may be minimize at first. You might have to maximize it. But as we do that, we'll see here that uh, basically what that gives us is uh, the material that it's modeled out of and the default material for fusion is steel so this wheel itself weighs uh, three ounces so you know you if we made all these parts out of steel we'd have like a three or four pound train <laughs> so uh, maybe even heavier than that so um, we want to uh, change that so under the modify panel we'll go up to physical material and there's a lot of standard materials here that you have to use we want to select plastic ABS plastic and then in order to change it you just drag it out to the part you want to change so now I've got ABS plastic there um, if I go back and right click on the wheel we'll see when I do uh, properties that instead of you know uh, four ounces it's 0.4 ounces so now we have a much lighter weight wheel um, if we change all our parts to plastic that are supposed to be plastic they're all going to be white so we also have this option under the modify panel to select and modify the appearance um, when you first go in uh, we have different different kinds of paint um, and here like this is metal flake so I could get kind of fancy with my paint job um, a, a material that I or a paint job that I have not used before I have to download so I'm going to come over here the metal flake red and I'm going to have to download that material and then once I download it then I can drag and drop and paint my entire wheel. So it does kind of give a, a glossy red look to that. Um, we can be, you know, a little bit more specific, just like you can if you're painting with a paintbrush. So I'm going to go back to powder coat rough. And I'm going to select just the surface of the tire. And let's put the black on the tire and we could even be a little more fancy than that and uh, give the uh, tire some white walls so we'll go old school here with these train wheels okay so that's what you're going to want to do you're going to want to change your materials and all your parts uh, materials properties and appearance and you'll want them to be contrasting colors that will assist in the assembly